In this video, we're going to look at setting your gain for each one of the microphones that you'll be using for your event. Now, these are the belt packs that you'll be using for your speakers. This will also be the handhelds that you'll be using uh, throughout the weekend. And so we want to take a look at that, that now. Now, before we get into that, let me say this. There's a bunch of different ways that you can set, set the gain on a board. This is the one that we're recommending uh, to try to eliminate as much feedback as possible on the channel. Now let's go into a little bit of what gain is. Gain, first of all, let me say what gain is not. Gain is not volume control. I have worked with individuals uh, in the past who have said, well, you set your fader to a certain uh, uh, limit or level and then you adjust your volume off of gain. Gain is not volume control. Gain is sensitivity control. Yes, it does increase the volume, but that's not what it's increasing. What it is increasing is the sensitivity to that microphone. So the higher the gain, the more likely you're going to have ring or feedback in your system. So we want to start at a good uh, low level. And so let's go over to the X32 and take a look at that real quick. What I have here is I have uh, the section of the board, which is your individual channels, which is right here. And then of course we have the controls that are up here above those channels. So the first thing you're going to want to do is select the channel that you want to work with. And we're going to start with channel number one. So I'm going to come over here and select channel number one. And from there, what I'm going to do with the gain uh, to start with is I'm going to take the gain and your gain knob is right here, upper left hand corner. I am going to bring that back to about a quarter percent. Now it may be a little difficult for y'all to see the light uh, um, there on the screen, but the light is sitting right here at uh, the nine o'clock hour. If you want to make reference of this as a clock, this is sitting right at the nine o'clock uh, position. From there, what you're going to want to do is set your fader to zero. If you'll see my finger here on the screen, I have all four of my faders uh, roughly set to zero. Now what that does is that gives you a decent amount of volume. Set your volume. You're also going to want to set your fader, uh, your main fader over here to zero as well. So this will give you uh, a good amount of volume on the channel and then from there if the speaker is uh, not a very strong speaker or has a very soft voice, then what you're going to want to do is slowly raise the gain until you get a comfortable volume, not the max volume. You're not trying to set your max volume with the gain. You want them to just have a comfortable level with that gain. From there, if you need to add more volume, if you notice, we've still got some headroom here on each individual channel. Uh, we've got about 10 decibel that we have to work with in order to raise that individual volume if necessary. Now, in the weekend to remembers, uh, where next, where I have, have uh, run them, where I was on some speakers, where I end up with my fader is somewhere up around there, which is sitting at about seven to eight decibel um, on the plus side. That's okay. It's okay if the fader is up that loud. Again, the idea is to keep the gain as low as you can without creating any ring feedback or anything of, of that nature, okay? So you wanna set your fader to zero, find a good level, not a great level, a good level with your gain from there if it's a soft spoken person and if need be during the event, then from there, raise your volume up a little further into the plus side of your uh, DB there in your channel. So by doing this, we eliminate some of the sensitivity on the mic. By doing this, we bring the gain back down a little bit. And so uh, hopefully we can then take that and help control the feedback. Because keep in mind, even though we run the AFS wizard on the drive rack, that does not eliminate all of your feedback. It does eliminate a good chunk of it, but it does not eliminate all of it. And a lot of it is controlled right here on the board with your gain. 